and I, I was able to make it through it, but I used to go down and sit in front of the Hotel Riga Royale and watch the, all these stars and famous people pull up in front and there would be a guy standing out front. I'll tell you about New York. At that time, there was so much heroin and so much different heroin that they started naming it after musical instruments. <coughs> musical instruments, like, like in Brooklyn, they had this black, very black, black as your shirt, sticky heroin. Uh, and they call that clarinet. And over in New Jersey, they had this yellow brassy stuff that would just fall apart right in your hand. And they call that trombone. Trombone heroin. And Manhattan had this stuff. It looked kind of like honey with dark streaks in it. And they named it Mandolin. <laughs> uh, it was called Mandolin Heroin. And on the streets of New York City in front of the, some of the most famous hotels in the world there, five-star hotels, there would be a guy who would pull up in a limousine and stand up in front of the Hotel Riga Royale uh, with a brand new mandolin case under his arms. And the stars would pull in to the Hotel Riga Royale and they would go upstairs and the guy would come back down and he would stand outside. And it gave you pause, as they say. Gave you pause. So, this little place that I had in the village had a little sublet. Right down from that was a great big Polish hall. Great big, great big Polish meeting hall. And there was all these old Polish people in it. And they had a string band there of 120 people. String band and 80 of them were mandolin players. <laughs> <laughs> and on a Thursday morning and a Saturday morning, these guys would be walking down to the hall with their mandolin cases. <laughs> Little fat Polish men with their mandolin cases. <laughs> Cops would be all over my front. <laughs> Get out of here, so all! <laughs> Searching the mandolin case. And I used to sit there and drink my coffee every morning, and I would think, how sad that is. These little bastards are just trying to get down to play a little music. <laughs> Polish Hall there, and wearing his hush puppy. <laughs> trying to get down there and play a little music. And then one morning, sure enough, I was having my coffee, and I looked out the window, and the cop pulled this guy over, took his mandolin case and took it apart in the front of the car. <clears throat> and sure enough, man, somebody had gotten to this old little fat Polish man in husk puppies he was carrying her on. And his wife smacked him on the top of the head with her purse as they put him in the back of the police car. It'll give you pause. <laughs> I gotta bring those records in out of the car. There'll be records here for sale. If you wanna steal them, go ahead. <laughs> We're all criminals. <laughs> or Catholics. Not <laughs> just the same thing. <laughs> Play this song called Manhattan Manlin Blues. Man, I'll just stick around. We'll be all right. We'll take a little break. Uh, eat a couple of chicken legs, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs>
can hold out to live But I can't make no money Playing this man Down near Virginia I stole a car today Something every day. Gonna take more than some damn Chevrolet to drive these. Manhattan man to them blue lilies. Put it on the table, baby, count it out thin. Ain't enough to carry, baby, put it on in. I'm coming looking when I'm out. Take you someplace, wash your hands and your hair, get yourself clean, get you something to wear. So many things can happen just between now and then. I'm in the strings if I got left on. Maybe spot me 50 toward my 44. Anybody ask me, man, I ain't ever seen you before. If I get to heaven, they just might kill me again. For playing songs about Big Mary. Just can't make no money